this section of the tutorial, we are going to add loot tables to the game so that we can kill the monsters and loot them to get some items. As you can see right here, I can kill the skeleton, and when the skeleton is dead, I can walk towards it and click on it to loot it. When I click on it, the loot window will open up and it will show all the items that drops from, drop from this monster. In this example, it dropped a lot of loot. This is just for demonstrating. Um, in, in the actual game, we will of course implement drop chances so that all the items doesn't drop every time we kill a monster. And as you can see, there's four items per page. If there are more than four items that has dropped, then we can click on the bottom uh, arrow here to go to the next page. And of course, we can take the loot and it will be added to our inventory like so. And when all the loot is gone, um, we will not be able to loot it anymore. And all the items here, of course, work. We can take them back and equip it, and we can also, yeah, equip the health potion. I know I haven't shown you how to add the items. We'll also be adding some extra items like a chest and, and helmet or something. But we can't equip them, them yet, but we'll just be adding them to the game to um, get some more variety in our, our loot. So that's what we are going to do in this section. As usual, we will create the UI elements before we start coding. But before we do that, there's one thing I would like to get out of the way. As you can see right now, the tooltip is gray, and I'm not very happy with it. If you like it as it is, then fine, you don't need to do the next step. But I would like to change it so that it's darker and has a, another image. Because I don't like the way that it's stretched. For example, these, uh, these dots here on the tooltip, they are stretched out uh, in the x-axis. And that doesn't look very, very good, I think. So instead of using an image with some different colors on it, I would like to use an image with one color on it so it looks better when it's um, larger and smaller and, and so on. So instead of using this tooltip background, we can actually go to the sprites and we can find this one called frame one under the character panel. If you're not using my sprites, I suggest that you just uh, create some kind of sprite that looks like this, like with some rounded corners and that has like a dark background because it's way better for showing a tooltip. And just take that and add it to the, to the UI here. And it didn't show up. Let's try one more time like that. There we go. When you've added it, I would like you to go to uh, the new image, image, select Sprite Editor, and simply just drag in these lines here, exactly the same way as we did with the other, to other tooltip, just right to where the, the curve stops, so that we can stretch it without ruining the curve, like so, and then click Apply, and close it. And then we simply just select the tooltip, select the background, right frame, Let's see if we can find it. There we go. And now the tooltip should look way better. And as you can see, the tooltip looks better, I think, than it did before. Because now it has like a symbol, one symbol color, as you can see. With that done, we can start setting up the UI for the loot window. So you can right click on canvas, say UI and image. And this image is going to be renamed to loot window. So what image are we going to use? Well, we can actually use the menu for this. So just select the source image and write menu and select the menu background as your, your loot window. We also need to set a width and height for this. So you can select the window and go to width and write something like 180 and the height could be 210, for example. It's up to you, just scale it as you like. Uh, this is just the measurements that I, I like best. So besides that, we also need a headline here. So you can right click, say UI and text. And right there we can write loot. We can change the font to something better than the standard. And then we can set the font size to something like 23. And we want to center it totally like that. And I would like to change the color to white. And with that done, I would also like to add an outline to it. I would like the outline to be 100% visible, so just set the alpha all the way to 255. And then you can take the text and move it all the way to the top. And just scale it down, uh, the box, boundary box of it, so it just fits inside this square area here. With that done, we can rename the text to title. And the title is actually going to be the parent of the rest of the objects that goes into this, uh, this UI thing. So we would like to add a layout group. So add a vertical layout group to, to the, what's it called, the, the, the title. And under the title, we will add an image. So right click, say UI and image. And this is going to be an empty slot. 
because there's no loot in it from the get-go. We just need a empty slot there. And before we start scaling, I would like to select the title and go to vertical layout and remove width and height for to expand for the children. Select the image here again. And we need to put a size on it. And the size that I have chosen is just 30 times 30. It's up to you what size you want. It's up to you if you want to set everything up as I do here. Um, you can just customize it exactly as you want. This is just the way I like to set it up. So these are just guidelines for how I did it. So we can rename image here to one. Just rename it to one because they're going to be four slots. So just g give them a number to make it easier to distinguish between them. So this slot here needs to be placed correct. And we can do that by selecting the title. And we need to adjust the vertical layout group so that everything sits as we want it. So first of all, we can select lift. We can put it in minus somewhere. Say minus 34, 30, I don't know, like there. And then we have the right side. We don't want to timber with that yet. So the top, to move it a little down, let's see where we want to put it, like there. 39 for me, maybe it's another value for you. And basically, we need four of these. So you can already just duplicate this by selecting the, not the title, sorry, the one. Pressing Control D, so we have four of them. Then you can select the title again, and we can set the spacing. And I think it's going to be five or something like that. Let's see. Yeah, maybe five was a little under six. Yeah, let's just put it at six for now. So now we know what the, the spacing is going to be. Just delete the extra ones. Okay, so now we have the place where we want to put our item. When we drop it, this one is going to pop up, and we can see what item that was dropped. Besides that, we need a icon to go upon up on top of it. So right click on one, select UI and select an image. And as an image, you can select anything, um, not anything, but any item. Let's see, what do we have if we go to UI and I don't know, what do we have? Sprites, UI, inventory, there. So here are some different things. We can use any of these icons here for the potion or the key or the apple, for example. Um, for now, let's just use the key. So take the key and drag onto not empty slot on image, like so. And you can rename image to icon. This one needs to be scaled down, so select the icon, scale it down. We might be want to zoom in and just put it on top of the, the dark area so it looks like it fits it on top of the of the actual slot here so we go i think it looks fine so now we have the, the, a key dropped here uh, besides the icon we also need some kind of text to write um, uh, the, the name of the the item so right click on one select ui and select text and rename this one to uh, name know, name of the item of course Put it on top of icon, uh, uh, above it, I mean, not on top. And we can write this one a secret key or something. And change the style or the, the font, something. And font size, I think I've written down it should be 10. Maybe you want another one. Center it. Again, this is only, only guidelines for what I've done. Put it like there. And then we can take and move it all the way to the right. Like so. And make this a little smaller so it doesn't go over the edge. If it goes over the edge, then the text will go over the edge, right? So ju let's just put it like that. A and by the way, don't mind it being a little blurred out here. See if I if you click maximize and play your game, you'll see that it's not blurred in here in the game. It's just what it is out here in, in the editor. Um, okay, so one th more thing I did was to put a background on the text because I felt like it looked weird with the text. Let's say we drop some epic um, like that. I think the gray background and the purple color doesn't fit very well together. So to make it easier for us to read whenever like an item of a, of a higher quality drops, I also added a background so you can right click on one, select UI and select an image. and this image is going to be our back background apparently uh, let's see here so just click here and write back I 
was called background. Let's see, as it's we have this background back. I, I use that. And then I just took it down here and I made it the same size as text, maybe a little larger to the left so the text will not go all the way to the edge. Um, again, it's up to you how you want to scale everything. And then I took this image and put it all the way above the others so the text will be written on top of it. And then I renamed it to background, like so. And let's try to play and see how it looks. It's fairly okay. So one more thing I did was to actually select my um, loot window and then I changed the color to this value here. So select your loot window and select the color. And this is the color that I used. You can use any color you want, but I just want to make it a little darker. And I also think I want the background to be a little more behind the text there. So let's try to run it and see. Yeah, I'm fairly happy with this. Um, and again, it's guides, you can do whatever you want. So let's try to duplicate this. We have, this is our first one. So if we duplicate it a couple of times, you'll see we have four drops here. They are below each other. So we're just going to rename these one, two, three, and four, like that. There we go. So now we have four keys that are dropped, four secret keys. And they just placed like that um, and of course um, if you feel like something is wrong it's easier for you just to delete three of them go to the first one and then adjust whatever you want for example the background you want it a little further away here and simply just do like that instead and then you can just duplicate this one again and it's easier to rename these then adjusting the same thing on all of them at the same time I think Let's see, I think this looks yeah, looks better. So what else do we need? We need a, a button to close this loop window. So UI button, select the UI here. And I think if we go under quest log, we have this close button. I'm going to use that. I'm going to set the native size of it and I'll remove the text on it and scale it down and put it here in the top right corner and I think this size is fine what else do we have we have a lift and a right button and I just want to duplicate let's see here we are on our loot window we have a button let's call this one close let's duplicate that a couple of times rename one to lift or let's call it previous and one call it next like so select previous go to the arrows let's see here we have arrows up and down and basically we can use the up and down to, um, to, to uh, or flip the up and down or we can actually also go to our character panel I think that's better and see there's a play button you can just use that as arrows so just drag the play button into the UI uh, folder uh, we need to clean up in this at some point um, and then take the play button and replace it with on the previous year and go to the next one and replace that one as well so now we can take the next and put over here in the right side in the bottom somewhere right there and take the previous and put it all the way over here in the left side so unity will guide you a little when you move something around you see now they are aligned see there's a blue line here when they're aligned like that and then you simply just need to move them so it looks like yeah wh wherever you want them I think I want this one a little more out yes you can also see this is 67.3 from the center this is 68 67.23 there about there from the center so when you have placed them we need to flip this one so select the left one go to the scale and write minus one in front of X so that it flips to the left so you can use this one to navigate to the left and this one to navigate to the right so now we have set up all the UI actually let's just get some order in these things here so let's right click create a new oops, create a new folder and let's call it spells 
and take fire, frost, and thunder, and put inside the spells folder. And right click and create a new one called uh, menus. Menus and take everything else actually, um, except the frame. Let's take all these things and put them inside menu. And we have an empty frame and a frame here. Can actually just right click and create one called other or something and put empty frame and frame in there like that. Okay, so now we have a little bit of order there at least. Okay, so now we have the UI set up and that's what I want to do in this video. So in the next video, we will start coding stuff so we can open and close it. And later we will of course also add the fact that I, or add the functionality for adding loot to this window. And we'll also add the functionality for yeah, looting uh, something from an, an enemy, of course. So thanks for watching. Thanks for watching my video. Please remember that Inscope Studios is a community founded page. So please consider clicking the support link on the screen to see how you can support me and get something back in return.